definition of someone who's never gonna get laid. What a fucking loser. Ugh. So I am just delighted to be back here uh, to enjoy this short film with you. And I promise you, I swear to you, Boy Scouts boner, honor, fuck. <laughs> Boy Scouts honor that this video is not about and I'm gonna edit that out. I'm gonna edit the name out and post because I refuse to utter his name in another video. The last two were about him. No, no! Not this one. I'm tired of him getting Leon lost screen time. I'm tired of giving that boy clout. You're welcome for the career, you little bitch. I'm only teasing he gains more subs in one day than I've gained in 10 years. Can I get a jump cut? Jump cut. So I was scrolling around on Twitter the other day like I systematically do. Getting my fix, if you will, similar to how a heroin junkie would inject illegal narcotics into his veins to get his fix and avoid withdrawals, I do the same thing with Twitter. <sighs> you know, you pull up your feed and you start scrolling because you want a little bit of that good good. You want a dose of the happiness, the hope, the possible laughter that may, that may ensue. And then 20 minutes later, you find yourself clinging for life, clinging to hope as emptiness and loneliness and despair starts surrounding you and enveloping you and swallowing you up like the fucking Arctic Ocean swallowed Titanic as it careened for the ocean floor. But I found this post and I thought it was pretty funny. Let's take a look. I'm all in favor of good manners. I have two teenage daughters myself, myself, and I spend a lot of time telling them to be polite. And I've got absolutely nothing against people giving up the odd seat or being kind of generally well-mannered. That's fantastic. We're off to uh, a great start. By the way, since I haven't led on as to what this video is even about, save for maybe the title and the thumbnail, uh, I don't usually get into like the feminist stuff on YouTube. Um, but sometimes it's just too good to not to not throw my two cents in. So I found this little clip from Good Morning Britain on Pierce Morgan and this lady getting a little argument, and it just it's just it's so it's so telling of our world today. Let's dig a little deeper. Where I think that the ladies first thing becomes quite patronizing, and certainly a younger generation of women really think so. I did a kind of straw poll in my office yesterday. <laughs> Things just took a turn. And the younger women feel really passionate about it. It's because they feel it comes with a whole load of other assumptions. Mm. So the kind of man who might go, ladies first, or pull out your chair, or um, very much pay for dinner, is kind of expecting something back. So we're cruising in the fast lane at pretty good speed, and without warning, this lady rips across four lanes and flies off off the exit to crazy town. Why? Why would you think that? It's an attitude towards women that women are... It's just being a gentleman. No, it's an attitude that they think women are rather kind of fragile, delicate vessels that might break if they're not kind of looked See, after in a very careful that... way. And that is patronizing to a, young, okay. a load of younger women. In they the... feel they should be treated as equal. Now, I was always raised to believe that the little things count, you know, like the opening the car door for your lady, the holding the door at the restaurant, taking the jacket, pulling out the chair, little things like that. <clears throat> little things that show, you know, a sign of respect and a sign of admiration or love if you're in a relationship. It doesn't always have to be a relationship, but just these little th acts of chivalry that are seen as acts of kindness by anyone with a functioning brain. But of course, there's now a uh, large group of women, as she puts it, that are offended by this idea of ladies first, by chivalry. Uh, and I am just beside myself. This modern day world where there's so much terrible things going on and we're all so busy, I think it is so refreshing and delightful for someone to actually take the time and open the door for you. It's nothing about belittling someone else or looking down on someone. It's about being, having manners. Can I get an amen, Nigel? Amen, fat ass. Amen. It's about power. And it's about what the expectation is on women. No, it's not. You mind fucked moron. Every day, I have some lovely uh, women in our makeup department. Who, yeah, but just that phrase is pretty patronizing. Some kids. lovely women. Yes. Now, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm out. Fuck you, Nigel. That's it. I can't. <sighs> you know, there comes a point in every man's life where you just, you have to be Ray Charles to the bullshit, where you just can't 
take the retardation any longer. Sometimes I feel like I get to that point every time I make a video. This one really hit me though. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to pull out a chair for a girl. I'm trying to, excuse me, I'm trying to open a car door. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to make my wife feel special. And that's patronizing. Fuck you. Oh, love whoopie pies. I always say, <laughs> as a matter of course, thank you ladies, right? Is that offensive? Am I offending them? Am I expecting something in return? Am I exercising a power play? It, or am I simply being chivalrous and gentlemanly and polite younger, to lovely women? Younger women really hate being called ladies. Do they though? Oh. So it's not just this idea of this outdated ladies first bullshit that gives us men all the power. It's just the word ladies itself is now offensive. A lot of younger women really do. Some of them are younger it, women, and they find it really, they find it really offensive. I think and if you talk to a whole lot of younger twenty-somethings, she makes a point to keep yammering about it being the young girls, the young generation, these twenty-somethings that take offense to this word. You can't call a young girl a lady anymore. No, no, no. This young generation is ushering in a new paradigm of what it means to be an independent, strong woman, where we don't allow dirty, disgusting men to open doors for us. I will not allow a man to put my jacket on for me or pull my seat out or give me the seat, give me his seat on the bus. I'm a fucking, I'm not a lady, I'm a woman. Uh, Fuck out of here, bull uh, uh, ignorant nonsense. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I understand there's a lot of women's rights issues that are noble and a lot of causes that are very just and necessary and good. But this is a perfect situation of choosing your battles or making a mountain out of a molehill or making a mountain out of absolutely nothing and you see this all the time and it almost takes credit away from whatever movement it is it's like you fucking you, the feminist movement this type of shit makes that look bad it makes you look crazy to the entire world when there are some aspects of feminism that can be good but that's the problem with any movement is there's always extremists that take shit too far and they identify so wholly with this movement that they start looking for things to be angry about and to change because nothing will ever be enough. Just let me hold the fucking door for my wife. And it just goes back and forth for a little while and it just gets absolutely fucking ridiculous. And I don't always agree with Pierce Morgan on everything, but I think he summed it up quite nicely when he said this. It's Sometimes when men else. date women, there is an expectation it may go somewhere. Yeah, it's called romance. I know, but I think, <laughs> I think women feel that they have, younger women feel Do we that want they... to stop any romance, no. any sex, no. anything? No, no, the no, women no. just want to live on their own, on the planet, with all men no, exactly. evaporated. No, they... All men evaporated. That phrase is quite literally the goal of some of these unhinged feminists. Yes, Look at him. But I, you're His a, brain you're has lady. been reduced you're, you're to mush. He has no, turned to spaghetti. I in front of you and gave you an elbow. No, you I'm not, you I'm say not rude. Exactly. for a second that I'm in favor I can't of that's, bad that's it. These radical feminist ideologies have Pierce Morgan moshing during his live television show. Women or having dolls over for them, or men standing up when they walk in a room. Oh, this is not. Can I tell you? It can't be offensive. I don't think it is. I don't think it's I don't think. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the segment, and Pierce had just about had it at the end there, and so have I. I'm completely flaccid at this point, so I think we should wrap this up. A couple key takeaways, though, from this segment. Uh, the first is that the word lady is egregiously offensive. No longer are we allowed to say lady. The second thing is that if you hold the door for a woman, you automatically are expecting anal in return. I mean, you can't just do something nice for a lady without automatically wanting sex. That's ridiculous. And the third thing is that all men must die. Listen, I get a little bit animated for the sake of the video, but I know this isn't how most women think. It just, it can't be, because it's, it's crazy. But it's always the 1%, this minority of out of touch weirdos fighting for these unreasonable causes. These are the people that are eating up all the airtime. They get the spots on shows like this because 
most people that are normal in the world know that they're crazy and it causes them to react the way I'm reacting right now and it drives clicks and views. This is why these people get so much time in the spotlight. Crazier the better. This is the world we live in now. So gentlemen, do not despair. It is okay. In fact, it's recommended to hold the door for your lady, to pull the chair out for her to open her car door before heading out for the day. If you do it enough times, you might even get blown. <laughs> no, no, that, that joke was in that joke was in poor taste. I apologize. But what did we actually just watch? I don't know. Thank you for watching it with me, though. It's been a real treat. I'm going to be back here soon this week with a new music video. Should be the next video I post. I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Uh, as always, if you could do me the favor and just write to your high school principal. Let him know about Leon Lush, first of all, that he should come over to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, probably ring that notification bell, and uh, then tell him that if he doesn't give you straight A's, you're going to kill his dog. And then once you get... <laughs> and once you're done doing that, just go downstairs and uh, shave your legs, clip your toenails, shave your armpits, but leave the chest and the stomach hair. It's a very important step. And then go down to the basement and pull out your laptop. Go over to this video. Real slowly pull down your drawers and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. As always, I appreciate our time together. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.